Where is it? Substance, no. Uh, it's an image. I've got the preview. Hang on. Okay. Uh, FBX. I don't remember what that looks like. It's in here somewhere. OBJ. Okay. No, that's not it. That's pretty cool. You can do that. But uh, I want to like... Okay, wait. Where's some other... Oh, hang on. Okay. I know I've downloaded this file somewhere. I just cannot remember for the life of me where I put it and or what I named it. If only there was some sort of program or app that I could have that would just let me see actual preview files of all my stuff and I could like just tag things without having to change the file name if I knew or you know if this is like a cyberpunk model I could just tag it with like a cyberpunk or if I knew this was like textures I could just do that and find that I have all these things all over the place I just want to have a spot that actually organizes them in a way that works for me if only that existed well Bad acting aside, there is a real solution, and that is Blueberry AI. This video was sponsored by Blueberry AI. If you know anything about me and my channel, it means um, anything that I can make stuff more efficient and faster and more streamlined, I am all about. And Blueberry AI is that. It is the solution to almost every bit of friction or tension or hiccups or obstacles when working on a team or throughout a project, especially in 3D realm, whether it's game dev or whatever, because you're grabbing assets and stuff from all kinds of programs, all kinds of sites, all kinds of whatever. You've got models, you've got texture maps, you've got reference images, you've got creatives, you've got the design, you've got the outputs, you've got the animations, you've got the bones, you've got the skins, you know, you've got all the pieces of it. Everything either inside of Max Finder or Windows Explorer, they're just like little lines of code. And you try to do icons, like sometimes you can see the images and stuff, obviously, but like FBXs, stuff like that, they don't load. OBJs will load, but they take a while and they're a little clunky. Whereas Blueberry AI is everything all at once together, automatically AI tagged and automatically organized and grouped so you can actually see it visually which just makes everything so much faster so yes let's talk about what this program can do because it's kind of awesome and i think if you're on a game dev team or any type of team that works like going between uh, multiple programs to get from the start to finish definitely check out blueberry ai um, because it i think it's just going to streamline the entire process and iron out a bunch of wrinkles that come with working with multiple steps throughout the process okay Basically, what Blueberry does is it gives you guys a space that works for both visuals and more like uh, management client based side things and stuff like that, where you can see everything. Everybody has access to the same files inside of your browser. Everybody can download the same file. Everybody can see that file. They can make comments on that file. Everybody can see it. And I'm bringing those in. And whether you're doing it all through Unreal Engine, through Maxon, through Maya, through whatever. There's a lot of stuff. This is what it looks like. Okay. This is like, I just grabbed a folder of like all of my stuff of OBJs and stuff from whatever. And I was like, I don't know. I'm just going to do a blanket search for OBJ, FBX, DAE, GLTF, and just slap them all in here. So I can actually see what it is. Because if I'm scrolling through my little um, browser details panel or even like doing icons, whatever, you know, I don't need to see fbx or obj icon that doesn't do me any good and yes it does load in previews but you have to click on it wait for the preview to build and then you can see it and you have to have your window set up in the right way and this way i can literally just see everything i have across the board and what's crazy about this and we'll go back to some more features later but my favorite thing is it has ai tagging built into it uh, which is fantastic so you know, let's go set, uh, I've got this tree here. I brought in this tree. It says 3D model is a tag and trees are a tag. I did not put those tags on that object. It's just a tree. So if I had a big library of trees, which I need to go find because I do somewhere and bring them in, it's going to tag trees on them. And then when I go up here and I type in trees, it's going to find all my trees. Okay. All of them, which is fantastic. Uh, and then so I have a lot of sci-fi stuff. So we're going to type in science fiction. And voila, you can see I didn't tag these things. These are automatic. I've got my astronaut here. I've got a, a futuristic city. Also, obviously, my Star Wars stuff. Mr. Handy from Fallout. 
And the Terminado, uh, the big giant bug from Helldivers is there as well. And of course, you can come in here and, you know, do manual tags and stuff on your assets and whatever. But you can see you've got animations. You can actually see the preview of, like, if I'm scrolling through and I see FBX of whatever, I'm like, okay, what was Walk 2, Walk 3? I'm like, which one do I need to bring in because I don't remember? Uh, you can actually see them in real time on here, and everybody can see them. And all you have to do is double click them, and it will load them up if you want. And then you can download them if you want. So you can put them exactly where you want. You the list of features that this has is crazy. Um, and it's all built into the browser, which the other crazy thing is it's also real time. So if I come in here, let's go, let's go ahead and go to like the, um, let's do a better model. Okay. They've got an industry demo file here. Uh, we'll go in here and we'll go 3D. Let's open up robot here. All right, so this is inside of their game industry demo file. So they kind of give you like a variety of things that you can see um, without having to open up a doc. And it just kind of keeps everything all in one space. And you're working on this guy, right? And you're checking the UVs just with the UV checker here. And you're like, oh, actually this piece right here. Uh, what's that? Is that the, what, what piece is that? 14? Uh, you can look at it. Maybe like, oh, actually... Uh, this piece, I noticed the shoulders, the UV mapping was wrong on these shoulders. Let me just make a note real quick. Uh, leave a comment here. UV mapping needs to be fixed. There we go. Okay, so we've got a note. We'll send that out to the team. Totally fine. Boom. Make a note of that later. Cool. So now everybody can see that and remember that, okay, hey, you need to fix that. Right? So that's really cool, like, especially as a team. We can also see all the channels and everything built into this you can view all of this stuff but yeah so that's like you know that's really cool like obviously when you're working in a group or whatever that's fantastic especially with multiple people game dev this seems like an absolute perfect thing for a large-scale project when things get bogged down with a lot of assets this seems absolutely perfect uh, now, for an individual artist, a freelancer on their own like me, uh, this is just super helpful for being organized because I'm a disorganized person. But if you're an organized person, this is like an organized person's dream because this is like the level of detail and visual organization that you want from like Windows Explorer or whatever, uh, but built in and on the browser. Fantastic. And you can just, you know, bring in whatever you want, organize things tag things with whatever you want on top of stuff let's say this has like look at these okay look at these tags from the science fiction future aircraft hard service future aircraft design future aircraft culture 3d model scene future technology future aircraft 3d rendering white future aircraft scene prop right like all of these things and the last thing i want to add in here is i want to add my own tag let's edit the tags and i want to add a tag that is star wars okay just for all my star wars things there we go boom now that's good. All right. We can add more tags in there, but there we go. Star Wars. Excellent. So now we can go in here and make this guy. And we'll go in here and add his tag. And we'll say Star Wars. Boop. Right there. It's already set up. And say we can go through all these and just quickly add them. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars here. Star Wars there. Blah, blah, blah. You get the point. Now we can come up here and we can just say Star Wars. Right. And this could be like based on your project that you're building it on. Boom. Or a brand, a company's brand or the prototype or the object or a building, whatever it is, whatever the project is, the company is, you can just group everything very quickly and easily exactly how you need it. Uh, so now when I'm working on something and I don't have to like search through and find all these things because these are from different places. Some of these are from the you know, video copilot uh, pack. Some of them are from Sketchfab. Some of them are from Gumroad or whatever. And they're all over the place. And now they're all together in one spot, visually very clean, easy to use. And I can just download those as well. So super, super cool on top of that. And then we can talk about um, some other features that it does. But for me, that's the big thing. Like these, these three points right here that they showcase the efficiency, cost cutting, and the cooperation. The cost cutting, um, I guess it's because that one is like because you don't have to have so many programs to view stuff for everybody. Um, that's fine. I really think the efficiency and the cooperation like are go hand in hand. Like uh, basically the fact that you can have all of your reference files, all of your ideas, all of your materials that you create, all of your whatever 
all in one spot, broken down very nicely and easily in a good visual way that you can see them all at once. So that whenever you start a new project or whatever, you can come back to this project and this space in Blueberry AI and easily find all your sci-fi stuff you did or what you did on uh, whatever tag you put on it, like a like, oh, car stuff that you're working on, like just cars. And you will see all the cars that you've ever done. And you can't remember like what material was on what car or you just want to grab all of your cars to bring them in to build a garage scene. Like you can now do that. Whereas if you are building cars right inside of, you know, C4D and you're doing different models, you probably have a project folder and then have a project for each car or whatever, and then you export them. Maybe you export them all out into one master models export, but probably you kept them within each project, right? And then, so if you want to find those, you really got to find, find each project name, remember what that is, go find that. And then this is a way that's like, you could just drop them all in, smart tag, boom, cars, you got them all in one click, right? So that's really cool. So here's the biggest selling point of all of this for me. Um, obviously, I feel like game dev, this is like, it just, clicks and it makes sense that this is a good useful tool right but um here's the thing for c4d artists in 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 particular because it has all these integrations and plugins and stuff built in so seamlessly it works with adobe unreal which is fantastic autodesk blender which also is fantastic which means you can actually view entire just dot blend files inside of blueberry ai which is fantastic uh and then sketch 3ds Max, Maya, Marmoset, obviously C4D is not here yet, but there's integration with communication tools, which is great um, if you communicate with people. <laughs> I don't, uh, but yeah. Um, but yes, also obviously very cool and you don't have to pull the trigger right away. You can start a free trial. Also, if you are like a big team or a team and you want to figure out like how this works in your workflow, request a demo. You can actually talk to the salespeople. They will help walk you through whatever because it, it it goes deeper than just organization and stuff. It has like advertising analytics and data monitoring, stuff like that, optimizations, A-B testing. Like this goes beyond just like, oh, let's just bundle things up so people can work a little more organized. No, it's like it wants the entire process from idea creation to marketing platforms like actually out there in the world after you've made the final products and you're putting it out there it goes beyond that right so that's cool do the whole process every step of the way there's something inside blueberry ai to make it easier and so i think that's great